call to order public works meeting. Uh, we'll do a quick roll call. Uh, Alderperson Ackley. Here. Uh, Phillips. Here. Uh, Savaglio. Present. And Sorensen. Here. Okay. Uh, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. Well, I'll start out with uh, approval of minutes. I'll move for approval. Second. Motion by Ryan, second by Marcus. Any discussion on the minutes at all? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Minutes are approved. All righty. We'll start out with 3.1, resolution 150, 2021, January 18, 2020. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement with the Sheboygan County Interfaith Organization for use of Fountain Park for the operation of Summer Farmers Market in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025. Uh, Joe, I guess you're starting off with this. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, everybody. And, and I just want to point out that tonight, um, Marie is here with the, the Interfaith um, um, Organization. And I wanna thank her and Lisa, uh, Don, myself and Thomas, uh, worked quite a bit going back and forth to get this done, this five year agreement done. So if you have any questions or if Marie wants to say anything, I hope you give her a chance to do that also. So, um, you know, one thing going through this, I did not know that they've had a farmer's market in the city since 1999. Um, 1989 and since 1990 in um, in Fountain Park so that was pretty interesting um, I, I did not realize that though so they've been around for quite a while doing this um, basically the market runs June the beginning of the June through October Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, 7 to 2 p.m. and I'm sure I've got to believe everybody here has been through that at one time or another I know my wife and I go there um, most Saturdays and and you got to like that it just feels like a, a celebration every time you go there. It's a great use of the park um, and uh, just to walk up and down and, and pick up fresh vegetables. The whole, the whole thing is great. Um, I've worked, uh, Marie's been my contact. I've been her contact for several years. Um, we get along just uh, wonderful. Um, so... Um, we really spent some time putting this together, making sure they were doing things right. And I want to thank Thomas for, you know, getting everything written down that we, we were requesting. So I really would uh, hope that the committee goes ahead to um, recommend this to the council to approve the next five years of, of using Fountain Park for the farmer's market. Thank you, Joe. I'll move for approval. Second. Motions made by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Uh, any other discussion on it at all? Mr. Chair, I've got a question. Sure, go uh, ahead. This one is probably going to be best answered by uh, the city attorney's office. We just went through a lot of work to change the ordinance to allow for a one-time wave of fee permit for another group. Uh, that is uh, not directly related to the city. Although I think the farmer's market is a huge asset to our community and I don't want it to stop, how are they different than the last group we just made a special exception for with our thing for a one-time use only type of thing? Mr. Chair, may I, may I answer that one? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead, Jack Beagle. So I, I think... Oh, um, Essentially, the, the nature of the relationship between, uh, between the city and SciHo is, is more akin to, um, 
I think the, the agreement says it, it's not a partnership, but it is, uh, that, that's sort of for, for legal reasons where we are not a, a partnership partnership, but it is more of a partnership um, than, the, uh, than the last, uh, sort of the, the traditional rental. Um, so I think that's the, the biggest difference between the two events or between the two, the two types of events. And if I could jump in, I, I look at it, it's very similar to uh, Midlake Softball, uh, Sheboygan A's. Uh, they're providing something for the community. Um, yes, they're getting something out of it, um, but the community is also getting something out of it. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, we did go back and forth um, a little bit about um, um, putting some kind of rental rate on. And, and when it came to, uh, you know, uh, finishing this up, we decided, you know, the what is being offered for the city and the community is 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 worth worth not having to charge them anything for it. They're, they've got a lot of work. They've got a lot of manpower. A lot of a lot of hours into it. So that's the way we looked at it. Okay. Uh, any other questions? That a answer you, Marcus. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I uh, it, it spawns so many other questions about how we do with like the A's and uh, that that soccer club that's being built on the south side and how they differ from like groups that rent out in the United Way. So I guess I'd like to dive into that deeper at another time, but that's not germane to our discussion here. So I, I'm I'm satisfied. Okay, great, thanks. Any other discussion? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. aye. It, it's approved. All right. Resolution 152-2021, direct referral. Re resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with both Infrastructure and Environment LLC for design services related to the Southside Interceptor Rehab Access Road Shoreline Protection Program. Director Beeble, is that yours or is that Steve's or? I, I, I can start and uh, I, I can also have uh, the city engineer, Brian Sazma, okay. um, join in as well. This is actually now um, starting the design phase of the interceptor sewer that is along the south side lakeshore. Um, we had a preliminary engineering study and uh, based on those results and the inspection, um, we're in, as we mentioned, uh, it's fairly good news is that it doesn't have to be totally reconstructed or even necessarily a lot of rehab, but yet it's still going to take extensive armament and shoring of the lake shore to protect it, as well as some manhole uh, work as well. And um, originally, if you recall, we had $13.9 million in the budget for this project. We're now roughly looking at seven, so almost almost in half, which is, which is good news. And we just uh, submitted our FEMA BRIC application for federal funding to help uh, ultimately offset some of our, our own costs associated with this project. We'll, we're waiting on on that process to determine where we're at. But nevertheless, what you, what's before you is the design contract to actually do the engineering of the final uh, restoration and armor in it. And um, if it's all right, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to have uh, Ryan Sazma also add some commentary. Okay, go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, and a big a big part of this design contract is, is building an access road along the shoreline. When this thing was built in 1936, there was really no, I mean, I think I think it was, there was a beach area. We could actually get vehicles out there to work in this sewer. And we're going to actually build like a, I'm guessing, probably a 15 or 20 foot access road. So down the road, when someone has to do maintenance on this sewer, it'll be it'll be just be much easier. So that's a big part of this design. Okay. And it's not just building a road. There's always going to be a ton of permitting with it and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I'm building a road, something that close to the lake. Okay, yeah, I can, that, I can, that I can see. Right. Any all thought? Any, uh, any questions? I move for approval. Second. Motion made by Ryan. Did Mark uh, second by Marcus. Uh, 
Any other discussion on it at all? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. It passes. Okay, uh, 3.3, .3, quarterly performance report for the Department of Public Works, discussion only. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I guess tonight just presents again the, the, the quarterly report. Uh, and, I, you know, again, it's for your information. Um, I don't want to go through it and belabor and take up a lot of time. It's um, hopefully in a good format that's easily understandable. Uh, it has good, good information and shows some past history as well as what we've performed this past year. Also have, you know, superintendents available this evening to provide additional detail within their specific areas. Okay. Anyone have any questions on the, on the report at all? Any, any questions or comments or anything like that? No. All right. Well, then I, the next meeting date is February 9th, 2021. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Motion made and seconded, made by Marcus, seconded by Ryan. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Aye.